Good evening. Within a matter of months, one young woman lost four family members to coronavirus, two of them right here in New Mexico. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us live from home with her story. Courtney. Just after feeling ill, two of Natalie Vigante's family members first tested negative in Mexico. Hours later, they traveled to the closest hospital in Deming, where they then tested positive. They were then airlifted to the metro area where they died. Saying goodbye to my father through an iPad was the most difficult thing I had to do. The day before Thanksgiving, Natalie DeGante said goodbye to her dad for the last time. Seeing him go and not being able to hold his hand to give him a kiss. DeGante's father died from coronavirus at an Albuquerque hospital. But since she lives in California, she couldn't see him in person due to New Mexico travel restrictions that she says the hospital enforced. It's something that you're not prepared for, especially being far away. He's the fourth family member she's lost to coronavirus since August. Her grandmother, who she says helped raise her, passed less than a month prior at Rust Medical Center in Rio Rancho. Hearing her voice on the phone and hearing her, hearing the breathing machine, hearing her being tired was something, you know, I don't wish upon anybody. DeGante's father worked for the Mexican government in a border town next to Columbus, New Mexico, in Luna County, passing out COVID supplies. They believe that's how he contracted the virus, bringing it home and passing it on to DeGante's grandmother, who was visiting him in Mexico at the time. Her aunt and uncle have also passed away from the virus. It is a family tragedy, but it's not just my family. DeGante's dad and grandma are just two of more than 7,500 total hospitalizations in New Mexico over the course of this pandemic. DeGante says the nurses who cared for her dad and grandma were their family when she couldn't be there, but says it was sometimes challenging to get information with hospitals stretched so thin. And there was a point where I did cry because I was so frustrated, but, you know, one of the nurses did tell me we are short staff. Many of our staff members had tested positive for COVID, so we are short staff. Just bear with us. DeGante says her goal is to visit the hospitals, to thank them once the pandemic is over. In the meantime, she's learning to cope with extraordinary loss. I remember my grandmother and my father. They had a beautiful faith. God willing, I will be able to see them again. DeGante says her sister, who lives in Deming, was able to visit their father in the hospital to say goodbye, testing positive for COVID herself shortly after. DeGante says her sister is still battling the virus and her mother is sick too. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Courtney. DeGante says it is difficult paying for multiple funerals with medical bills still coming in. We've linked a way you can help at alwaysonkrqe.com.